kill it. What is this thing? You see a, a lady, see a man, you can't stand one place. Young lady came and me and said, if I see a man, I can't resist. I can't stop myself. Can't resist. Can't resist. Young lady, she said, if I see pastors like this, I feel like sleeping with any pastor that I meet. Kayanos, 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 fresh tongues, Kayanos, fresh tongues. A new depth, a new fountain, a new depth, a new fountain. Kayanos! Somebody, a young lady came and met me. I said that, you see this man of God, this uh, apostle that is preaching with fire, fire, fire. That this is baby of that she has aborted three times, that I be two times, that this one now, she refused to abort. Carried it to the person's church. The person told his members to beat her up. If you don't deal with this thing now, you will end up worse in this kind of city. It is not your plan to be like, are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm not saying you plan to be like that. It's just that you did not pay attention and then you become it by default. Simply because you did not pay to the sounds of heaven. The cries of the mortals. They are saying, who can give us a vessel that is purged? Who are they that will, by their own will, submit to the flames of refining? Who will come to the school of the refiner who will submit to the intensities of the refiner's fire who will yes, Lord touch me with that flames let the seraphims subject me to the prunings the purgings the burnings I believe in power, but I believe in purity more than power self. I believe in holiness more than power. You know why? God wants to know you more than he wants to use you. And he wants him to, he wants you to also know him. It's not just that, listen, people say it's to know God. God wants to know you too. Unfortunately, huh? in some cases, a life of impurity might not limit you from still coming to God. Feel everything is alright. Now, everything is alright because of the blood in you approaching. But God in approaching you, everything is not alright. You know why? God is standing at a different plane. You, you are standing at a different plane. You need the blood. God doesn't need the blood. Are you getting the point now? So his basis of approach is totally different from your own. And this is the point. What's the name of the... Are you a Zambian? What's the name of the president of Zambia? Uh, Akai I don't... I don't, I don't. Hakainde Hichilema. H H. H H. Is the name. Okay, abbreviation H H. Hakaime Hachilema. 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 Hichilema. Hichilema. Ah. Let's let's assume. Has he come to this your church before? Let's assume he wants to come to this your church. Hmm? Will your church setting be like this? Even if you want to leave it like this, the security apparatus will not allow it to be like that. Are you getting where I'm going now? So, you can decide to live a dirty life. You can decide to persist in your impurity, immorality, your life. You can't force God into it. That's the problem with people. They persist in their kind of life and they want to force God to become like them. God said, no. 
Let the blood be working for you now. But as for me, I keep evolving into higher and deeper layers of my personal holiness. So the scripture said, holy, holy, holy. Triple holy. Triple holy. Anytime you hear something three times in the scripture, it means, well, what three times means in the scripture is, we are looking for the highest way to qualify this. It's a qualification. Holy, holy. You know, Jesus will say, verily, 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 I say unto you. It is the highest level of God. He said, holy, holy, holy. God is holy. He can't help himself. So, just because you decide to be the way God should, should God kill himself? What should he do? He is holy. He is holy. We can't, he can't do any other thing about it. He is what? Holy. He is. Are you getting what I'm saying? Oh. Are you a man? There is nothing he can do about it. He is a man. If you say we need a woman, no problem. If you say you are a woman, no problem. But he's already what? A man. He can't help it. He's a man. Even though that if you go to the US now, they make man woman. But, you know, I'm saying all things being equal. With, with human beings now, anything is possible. Huh? You can't help yourself. You are a man. At least I say, see what Nigerians call beer beer. This thing is called beer beer. Huh? What do you call this? Ndev. Huh? Imiefu. Imiefu. No be smart, you know. I think before I will leave this time, I will speak your language. <laughs> Man, you can't help yourself. Even your mevu has given you away. If you say I'm a woman, it won't, it doesn't. God is holy, he can't help it. And because he is holy, there are some things that he can't do. His holiness cannot allow him. It is because of his holiness that Christ needed to come in the flesh so that he can step God down for us follow me let me tell you what i mean god want to relate with us but because of his holiness he can't if he appears you die if he appears everywhere we wake the even sinai was melting just because he's appearing but he still wants to relate with us so christ is now the step down of god so god stepped himself down it's like a transformer a high tension is coming high tension cables are you getting the point then it is stepped down in a transformer so that the, the wire that is from here can connect to that electricity. Not as a high tension, but as something that has been stepped down and converted in and through the transformer so that you can contact the same energy that is on the high tension now in such a way that it can run through your house without burning things for you. Are you getting the point? That's what Christ is. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that high tension is no more high tension. Are you following me now? The power and the electricity in the high tension is still there, very strong. I saw one video recently in Nigeria. A high tension wire that something happened, it started burning. When it started, the whole area surrounding that place became an electromagnetic field. It was not just electric field. It became electromagnetic. Like the, the tension wire was somewhere at that door. And a man was here. Eh? When he started burning, it was drawing the man to himself. Going. He didn't want to go there. The Are you getting what I'm saying? He was putting him there. Burnt him to. Burnt him to. He was burning, literally. That's what you do if you plug to God direct. Are you getting the point now? So Christ came so that we can plug to God without being burnt. So through Christ, we plug. We plug at this. And when you plug at a socket, yeah, you are contacting the high tension. But not directly, through a transformer. That transformer being who? Christ Jesus. It has not changed whom God is at all. 
He is still holy, holy, what? Holy. It is in you trying to contact him that there is a step down. Anytime he wants to appear, he still appears as holy, high tension. So, this man did ministry for five chapters. By the time he came to six, God appeared to him. I said, this location now is where I call Kadash Bania. There is a location that is called Kadash Bania. Hmm? In the Pentateuch. That's where Moses died. Kadash Bania. That's where Aaron died. Kadash Bania. That's where Miriam died. Then we now understood that Kadash Bania is a location where God is no more willing to tolerate your sins. You have to lay it down. You have to deal with it. You have done ministry. You have mixed it with nonsense. You are now at Kadash. Kadash Bania. God decided not to overlook the things that Miriam was doing. He did not overlook the one that Aaron was doing. Even Moses. Pastors, we are going to cry this morning. We are going to cry to God and say to God, instead of my weakness to kill my calling, kill that weakness now. Don't come and say, eh, this prayer is it. Pray the way I'm telling you. Kill this weakness before it kills me. Kill immorality before it kill it. Kill it. Kill it. What is this thing? You see a, a lady, see a man, you can't stand one place. Young lady came and me and said, if I see a man, I can't resist. I can't stop myself. Can't resist. Can't resist. Young lady, she said, if I see pastors like this, I feel like sleeping with any pastor that I meet. feel like sleeping. Meanwhile, I don't want to, but something is pushing me. That means that young lady. That means if she's telling me that it means that I was also a target that did not work. Are you getting the point now? She wanted help from you. You carried her and slept with her. That thing you thought she was crying and hoping that as you are presenting yourself as a man of God, I help come. Show me Malachi chapter 3 as I round up. If you are blessed this morning, say amen. amen. This thing I'm teaching you is to save your life. It's not just your calling. You know, save your calling and save your life. That's how a man of God made mistake. Ba, 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 ba. And then slept with, slept with, and slept with a somebody that is HIV and he was not even aware of self. so before he knew what was happening it has gotten to a critical stage but the person that gave him was aware so she was managing herself I say I'm saving your life not just your calling <laughs> she was aware and she was managing herself <clears throat> the man of God was not aware of sleeping you can't help you that kind of oppression you even think that you are you love the girl the girl even think he loves it none of you love each other it is your calling that Satan loves and he wants to take it away so you need to join me in what I'm saying I'm not teaching we are making war we are glad and said he's coming for us anyway when I hear such things I smile because between me and Satan, who is coming for each other? This is why what I have prepared all my life for. God told me that three major things will happen when I deliver my ministry. Three major signs. He is giving it as a rod, a pillar of my ministry and calling. Number one is prayer. Number two is purity. Number three is power. Three things. Prayer, purity, power. Prayer, purity, power. 
prayer, purity, what? Power. We are going to deal with the matter of purity now so that people's calling. You will see what will happen to you. You begin to advance. Some people are laboring in the spirit, but the, the, you, the kind of lifestyle that Satan draws you to, it drains you. Do you know what is a sieve? What do you call a sieve? Huh? Safer. Safer. Like, let's assume I have water and sand in a bucket. And I want to separate the two. Are you getting the point? And I'm pour it into something and the water will drain out and the sand will stay. Are you getting the point now? Good. That kind of thing. Hmm? There is a leakage. So if God is pouring, 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 after some time you look for it, that leakage that Satan put will leak out all the investment of God. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are, when we pray here, I will be watching. I will know. It's easy to know people that actually wants to serve God with all their life. And people that want to meander. They, they are looking for shortcuts. See, I am not one of the men of God that is bringing shortcut to you. I'm bringing God's cut. Not shortcut. God's cut. Scriptural cut. I'm not here. What I'm teaching, I know it works and it is scriptural. But if it will make you labor, you need to do it. Anything it is, you need to do it. That one will last. That one will last. I will stay like this and people will come and be confessing their sins to me. I did not even talk about it. Why? It means that you are living such a life. Are you getting the point? That is anti some kind of life. No matter how much you hide the moral, hide it up before you know it, something will open. A young pastor took a young convert and slept with her the first time, slept with her the second time. She now started listening to our messages. There are some things they gave her to listen to. She was listening to it. There was one of them, power over sin. At some point, the thing hooked her. She ran early Sunday morning to come and confess. The pastor is hiding it. The pastor even told, <laughs> told her not to tell anybody. Told her, don't worry about me. That um, She ran to come and confess. You know why? There is something in that message. There is a life in it. That Where is God's temple? Hmm? You are correct. It's not this physical building you are. God wants to come suddenly. <laughs> Even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come. Say the Lord of hosts. Next verse. But who may abide? That's the question. Who may abide? If God, what's your name, brother? Samuel. If God puts his hand on you and begins to walk, will you abide? When the fires of seraphims begin to burn, you can even tell God is too much. Leave me. Who may abide? Who may abide the day of his coming? 